This project will bring community-based organizations into our schools to connect with young people through counseling, mentoring. We have opened the doors to the entire village to educate our children. It's a great day to march. <laughs> Essential workers need the essential tools to do their job so that they can take a break. They can get out of the inclement um, weather. Uh, they can connect to the resources of the city, and that's why we are here today. It's imperative that we've been holding uh, these conversations throughout the five boroughs. It's about quality of life. It's about this direct communication and interaction. This is the best part of the job. Education is the way. If you don't educate, you will incarcerate and you will devastate the lives of people who are abandoned along the way. And today is a starting point with our foster care scholars as they're getting the support that they deserve. People who were enslaved broke the barriers and used their power, their intellect to elevate themselves to the highest positions in this city. This is the day that our ancestors waited for. It's time for us to live up to that. More than 17,000 asylum seekers have been bused directly to New York City. New York City has helped them all. But although our compassion is limitless, our resources are not. The time for aid to New York is now. We need help from the federal government, help from the state of New York. New York City is doing our part, and now others must step up and join us.